All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to zero gap the Babyliss trimmer. And this goes for every model, whether it's the original FX model, the Boost FX model, or the Snap FX model. This also goes for whether you have the DLC 2.0, the Graphite 2.0, doesn't matter the coating, doesn't matter the deepness of the tooth, the fine standard tooth, doesn't matter what color it is, it all works for the same one. Now, to demonstrate this, I'm going to use the boost. And I know we've all seen this. Some of us know what this is. Some of us don't know what this is just because we're so anxious to use the clipper or the trimmer when we get it out of the box. Whatever. Usually throw it to the side. So basically, what this is, it's a hex head screwdriver and a blade setter for the most part. So, screwdriver pops out like so. And I thought this would have been Phillips, but it's a little hex head. See that? And this is a great design by Babyliss because this makes it very easy to zero gap because all you have to do is loosen up those two screws right there. They almost even look like screws. They almost look like rivets. And you need a slim hex head like this to get in there. So what you're going to do is you're just going to loosen these up. It may be a little tough the first time you do it. They may be torqued down pretty tight. But we're just going to get in there and pop that loose. Now, you do not. Don't take these screws out because you want it to hold the blade in place. So what this does is this loosens up the cutting blade and allows you to move it around. The stationary blade shouldn't move at all. So once this can move around, you'll be able to make your adjustments. And you'll see right there, you see I could push the cutting blade above the stationary blade. And that's exactly what you do not want because that will chew the customer up. So to help get a good setting, this is what the burgundy piece is for. This tab goes to the back of the blade and then you slide it up there. And what this does is it's going to push this straight. And then what most people do, if you don't want to eyeball it and move it down yourself you can use a table so you take the teeth and you press them down on the table and then you give it this rocking motion to the back until the body of the clipper stops you now once that's done you should have a nice zero gap and now that you have it where you like it you're going to tighten these up Once that's done, you remove the uh, blade setter and we'll give it the old test on the fat of the hand and give it the roll, little roll test to make sure it's not chewing on the corners or anywhere. As you see, it's not chewing, but it is sharp. And if you want to see how it's hitting, you could always use a little arm hand right here. Boom, takes it right off. And that's pretty much it. So this is something you should always keep with you because you never know when you're going to have to make adjustments. But I will say that Babyliss does a great job in these coming zero gap straight out of the box. And this method works for all. So easy way to zero gap because with the Andis you have to take the whole blade off. So quick video today. Something simple. A lot of you may know it, but some of you may not. So until next time, like and subscribe and I'll catch you next video.